Okay, now if you wish to share a file from your Samsung phone to a designated receiver with an expiry date, then Samsung Private Share feature is an amazing option you should try. This is a private file sharing feature which prevents recipients from resharing it and you can revoke the permission to open the file at any time and also can extend the expiry date if you wish to. Sounds awesome, isn't it? Now this cool feature has got an all new update which makes it more intuitive to use. So in this video, let's take a look at this all new private share. But before we go ahead, consider subscribing to the channel and give this video a thumbs up if you find it useful. Now let's get rolling. Now I will demonstrate how to use private share and at the same time I will tell you what are the difference between the older version and the newer version on these two devices here. I have got the Note 10 Plus on the left hand side which is on the previous version of private share and on the right hand side I have got the S22 Ultra with an all new version of private share. Now let me just go back to the home screen. Here I have got private share icons on the device. This icon will not be available by default so all you need to do is just go to settings tap on biometrics and security here you will find private share feature I'll tap on this I'll tap on settings on the top right corner as you can see here we've got an option add private share to app screen you have to enable this toggle to get that icon on the home screen or on the app screen now let me just take you through the change log on this all new version here as you can see the version number is 1.1.20.21 and in the change log it says link with contacts app when choose recipients provide shortcut when sharing edit file name and recipients available to send 20 files at once can't exceed maximum file capacity of 100 MB this is an important point to note here we can send 20 files at once can't exceed maximum file capacity of 100 MB which is good for sharing some of the images or document files through this feature now let's go ahead and open private share on both these devices. To share a file, all you need to do is just tap on share files. You will get this pop up with images, videos, audio and document options. I will just tap on images and select a couple of images over here. Tap on done. As you can see on this all new version, we have an option to search contacts or enter number. And we also have select from contacts integrated on this page itself. And we also have set expiry date right here. But on the previous version, this wasn't the case. Let me show you that. Let me tap on share files. I'll select a couple of images here. The moment I tap on done, this is what you're going to see. We have the list of contacts here. On the new version, we have got an option to search. We have got an option to select from contacts and we also have set expiry option right here. We can set the number of days, hours or minutes for the files that you're sharing with the other person. Now I will just select the contact number which is on this phone and I'll tap on done. Now all I need to do is just tap on send. As you can see on this phone, I'm sharing the file. The other person has to accept the request. The moment he or she accepts the request, the files will appear over here. Let me just open the file which is being shared here. As you can see, we have got the file here which can be accessed or which can be opened, but I will not be able to download or share this particular file to anybody else. So resharing is not allowed over here. Below this file, you can see the activity, at what time who has sent it, when was it received and when was it opened. All these activity details will be available here. And below that, we have got the expiry date. The receiver will be able to see this. Now on the sender's phone, let me just tap on the files here. I can tap on this three dots button to open the menu to change the expiry date, revoke shared files, edit name, disconnect. These four options we have here and with this new update we have got edit name option which is new and this was not there in the previous version. We can just tap on edit name to edit the name of the receiver here and save it. That's a new option with this all new update. Now let me just go back to the main page on this device. I will just show you how the revoke shared files work. Let me go ahead and tap on revoke shared files. I can just select the file which I want to revoke and tap on this revoke sharing button at the bottom. I'll just tap on this. It asks me revoke sharing two files. I will tap on revoke. As you can see on the receiver's phone, the files are not available now. That is fantastic, isn't it? So you can revoke the file whenever you want. You can change the expiry date whenever you want and you can share as many as 20 files not exceeding 100 MB in total. 
This is a fantastic private sharing feature we have got on Samsung devices and if you have not been using it, I suggest you use it whenever the situation calls for it. Do let me know how many of you guys have been using this feature. What do you think about it? Do share your thoughts in the comment section below and while you do that, be sure to subscribe and leave a like for this video. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.